Welcome back to Texas Today. It is time to ring in spring with something healthy. Our favorite celebrity nutritionist, Karina Heinrich, shares an Easter brunch recipe you can make at home with your kids or grandkids. Hi, I'm Skye. Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Karina, and we are so excited to show you how simple it is to put together a really delicious but extremely easy to make Easter brunch using healthy ingredients. Even I can make it? Yes, Sky. even you can make it. These recipes are all for the non-chef in mind. There is absolutely no intimidation stepping into the kitchen. My favorite are the pancakes. I know they are. We love my whole wheat dairy-free pancakes too, Austin. When putting together your brunch, I suggest literally writing out a menu and making sure you touch everyone's taste buds. It's great to include clean carbs, lots of fiber and protein, and of course, healthy fats. My favorite is yogurt and granola. It's fun to create a do-it-yourself parfait station. Serve Greek yogurt, homemade granola, the Karina Method granola, and lots of berries for toppings. I love eggs. I love eggs too, so an omelet station is always a must, making sure to add in tons of veggies, and don't forget to make them messy. Messy omelets are the yummiest, at least we think so. So today we wanna to show you how to make our super healthy banana zucchini bread. This easy to make bread is filled with good for you zucchini that's undetectable, my kids never notice it in there. It's an awesome way to get more nutrients into your family's diet in a tasty way. I'm gonna try some. Fiber, potassium, whole grains and greens makes this a powerhouse addition to any meal, especially Easter brunch. In a bowl, beat four eggs with a fork. Then in a mixer, blend in one cup of sugar or applesauce and one cup vegetable oil or olive oil. Add in two medium ripe mashed up bananas and mix well. Then you wanna combine three cups whole wheat flour, one and a half teaspoons baking powder, one and a half teaspoons baking soda, and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Then stir in the egg mixture from before. Now it's time to stir in one cup of shredded and unpeeled zucchini. This is the healthy part and one cup of mini carobs or mini chocolate chips, just until everything is combined. Pour the mixture into two greased round pans and bake at 350 degrees for around 50 minutes. And you wanna check with the toothpick to make sure it comes out clean. Cool for 10 minutes, and we like to slice ours like a pizza pie. Freeze one bread and serve the other, and enjoy. We hope you have a delicious brunch. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter! Karina, that looks delicious. For more information on Karina and her recipes, visit her website, thekarinamethod.com, or follow her on Instagram at thekarinamethod.